a symbolic visit, the last time U.S. Vice President Joe Biden enters Iraq while his country's forces are still there. After more than eight years of presence, U.S. troops will leave Iraq by the end of this year. That because of you and the work of those of you in uniform have done, we are now able to end this war. There are only a few thousand U.S. troops still on Iraqi soil, down from 170,000 at the peak of the conflict. Convoys have been leaving the country every day, handing over bases to Iraqi forces, along with the responsibility of ensuring their own security. On the ground, however, violent attacks are still taking place on a daily basis, leaving the population divided over the withdrawal. As long as the Americans are here, no one will look at us as an independent country. The Americans rid us of Saddam, and we're grateful for it. But right now, I don't think it is a good time for them to leave, because the political powers in Iraq are fighting amongst themselves. The country needs stability. In the early days of the war, the U.S. government said they wanted to make Iraq an example of democracy in the Arab world, which at the time was dominated by authoritarian regimes. Since then, free elections in Iraq have taken place, but democracy has not necessarily followed. We saw this clearly with recent events in the Arab world. We said there must be democracy and democratic transitions. And the people ask, is that democracy? People dying, bombs, and once elections come, ethnic divisions of power with the tribal allocation for the posts of president, prime minister, and assembly president? The return of sectarian violence is one of the most concerning issues for Iraqis as they enter this next phase in their nation's history. The year 2012 will be a test for the government in both maintaining peace without external support and rebuilding a country devastated by almost 10 years of war.